because there ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party because a Holy Ghost party don't stop. You me... see, that kid ate my broccoli because I didn't boil it. I turned the oven on at 400 degrees. I blanched my broccoli quickly until it turned bright green. I pulled it out, dried it, hit it with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, and Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, put it in the oven for 10 minutes, came out, he called me, he said, your broccoli tastes like green chicken nuggets. Ah, there you go. I promise you guys a little bit of footage from our trip to California. Of course, we had some fantastic time learning some learning from some brilliant people across really across the world. We had speakers from all over the place. Of course, had fun at Disneyland. Had a blast. I also wrecked my voice. I'm gonna keep this one short. I'm staying home today, not feeling real great, but wanted to make sure I get to you guys for the second Sunday of Lent. And I'm going to read you a really short one from the Old Testament, all the way back in the book of Genesis. You remember Genesis is the first book of the Bible. It's the beginning of God's story with his people. And the father of our faith is Abraham. This is the promise that God makes to, make, makes to Abraham if he trusts God with his life. This is a reading from the book of Genesis. Now the Lord said to Abram, Go from your country and your kindred, that's your family, and your father's house to the land that I will show you, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you, and I will make your name great so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and the ones who curse you I will curse. And you in all the families of the earth shall be blessed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How, like this is a, you, you hear the risk. You hear the risk that God is asking Abraham to take. He says, Abraham, leave your country. Leave your family. Leave your father's house. And like the father's house, okay, in traditional uh, Jewish families, custom. The father's house was everything. It was your inheritance. It was your blessing. It was your security. It was everything. Okay? And, and God is saying, leave your father's house, your earthly blessing, and let me be your heavenly father. I'm going to give you heavenly blessing. Okay? He goes on to tell him, he says, I'm going to make you great. I'm going to do things through you, with you, and for you that you can't do on your own. And it's going to have generational effects you ever want to make a difference in the world? You ever thought about that? Maybe, maybe you haven't thought a ton about it. I think about it a lot. I think about like, man, what are the, what's the impact that I'm leaving on this world behind me? And my greatest impact is that as a as a dad, right? To have to to raise my six kids to be uh, wholehearted and free and full of life and and walking and working in their gifts and and then letting them go out and change the world and doing everything I can as a dad to support them. I multiply my own life by six times, maybe maybe more than that, right? Just by loving my kids and being a good dad to them. And God knows that. He says, I'm going to love you and I'm going to be a good dad to you. And you're going to go out and your, gen your blessings are going to go through the generations. And so we call Abraham the father of our faith is where it all started. And it started with him trusting God with his life. Outside in this week. You ever thought about that? What do you want people to say about you a year down the road, seven years down the road, 70 years down the road? You know, when we're in our rocking chairs in old age, what, what do we want our life to have been about? Have you ever thought about that? So this week, is there a part of your life that you can trust God with? Maybe it's something that you're scared to, to go ahead and do. You know, maybe you're maybe you're a senior in high school and you're staring at the end of the year. And you're like, oh, my gosh, there's this one thing that I just I would know I would love to do, but I'm scared. What if, what if you trusted God with that? What if that little that fear, that risk that you're feeling like you're taking? What if that's God actually saying, you know what? I've got you. I'm going to be a good dad. I'm going to help you through this. And I want you to do it because it's a plan that I have for you. It could be really amazing. And I know it's hard and I know it's scary. But if you trust me, I'll be with you and I'm going to bless you. I'm going to help you through it. I want you to think about those things this week. Imagine the places 
where you could trust God more fully and step into that. Right. Love you guys. I'm hoping I'll be back in the studio. It's been a couple of weeks since I've actually been in the studio. I'm hoping I'll have my voice back and uh, I hope I get to see some of you guys because it's been a few days of, of not being in school either. So I love you all very much and we'll see you in the next one.